Perfecting your style to complement your body structure in a squat is necessary for mastering the squat. It takes practice and discipline and a positive attitude. Um, first thing you must do is make sure you take an even grip on the bar. This is Chuck Vogelpool, by the way, who is a 765-pound squatter in a 220-pound class. Once you've established an even grip, then get underneath the bar and place the bar at the most advantageous place on your back. Now, you'll notice Chuck does not actually carry the bar low on his back, but to the rear. It's, it doesn't matter how low. If you carry the bar too low, we'll show you later why it's not a good idea. Now, Chuck will stand up by arching his chest and straightening his legs and taking the least amount of steps as possible to achieve his stance. Now, notice when Chuck squats, he will take air into the chest and stomach, pushing on the belt, pushing the knees apart, and to come up, he arches his back. Notice he did not push with the thighs. Now, Chuck will perform another rep. Now, watch closely as Chuck, the chest is out, the stomach's out, the knees are out, the buttocks is out, and the shins are straight up and down. Also, please notice Chuck's feet position. They are straight forward. Chuck has very powerful hip muscles, so he keeps his feet forward. If a person has a trouble um, ascending to a parallel depth in a meet, then you must turn your feet out a little bit. That will uh, make it easier to break parallel, although you take some power out of the bottom of your squat. Now, Chuck's going to rack the bar. Now we're going to talk about some common faults in a squat. Chuck's going to demonstrate what happens when one carries the bar too low on his back. Now this is most people, basically beginners and a lot of women. They don't have big rear delts, so they carry the bar extremely low. Notice now he can barely keep his chest up in the air. So when he squats, he'll be hunched over somewhat. See how he has to round to keep the bar on his back. Now notice how Chuck dropped his head. This is a big mistake. The head must be driven into the bar. Chuck, squat again Im improperly. All right. Now, many people will let their knees go forward. Chuck's going to squat by going forward. Now the weight is taken off the buttocks and placed on the, the knees or the patel tendons. See how he's going forward? And the knees are pulled in. Um, now, that's many people squat like that, and it's a big mistake. Now, also, many people don't know that you have to push on the belt. They never push on the belt, and that means that lets their chest collapse over. Chuck always pushes hard when he's squatting correctly. Now, uh, Chuck, drop your head one more time and hunch over. Now, this is common squatting practice for most people. Now, they're going to it'll raise his buttocks first. If this is what you do, that's totally incorrect. You're pushing with your legs first when you actually should be arching your back. Rack it. I want to talk about a technique I've used over the years. Many people come in here and they have bad squat technique. And uh, they say they can never learn how to squat. I taught them how to squat by this simple method. Um, Number one, many people can start out right in the squat, but uh, many people will set back, but then instead of continuously setting back, they will have a tendency to go straight down or go forward from the mid position on down. I'm going to show you how to counteract this. Now Chuck's going to um, sit on this box and with proper form. This is a, actually a high box here. All right, now when we, uh, when we agree that Chuck has achieved good technique with that, we take out a box, a board, this five-eighths of an inch. Now Chuck will descend five of an inch difference, lower. Now if we're satisfied with this, if we're not satisfied, we do not take more boards out. Now we take out another one. Now Chuck's got to go a little lower. Now you see actually Chuck's form is getting better. Now more buttocks and hips are used. If we're satisfied once more, we take out another board. For more information or to order the tape, write. The West Side Barbell Club, 2145 Sullivan Avenue, Columbus, Ohio, 43223. The tape is $29.95 plus shipping handling of $2.